Well, Indian made a road glide and they called it the Indian Challenger. So hang on me for a few minutes, let's talk about it. What's up everyone? It's Alex. Full disclosure right off the bat, this will not be a full review on the Indian Challenger because my local Indian guys do not have one right now, so I have not been able to actually ride it yet. As soon as I can ride it, I will do a full ride and review on it in my typical honest review fashion. So this will not be a full Indian Challenger honest review. It will actually just be a basic discussion on the Indian Challenger, what it looks like, what it is on paper, and what some really good competitors for it will be because I can already tell on paper what kind of motorcycle this is and what it's in competition for. Hashtag road glides and things of that nature. So with that out of the way, I have been asked several times recently to talk about the Indian Challenger, especially in response to a video that I did on the future of Indian motorcycles and what, in my humble opinion, they would need to do moving forward to continue doing well and to really dominate the American motorcycle market and then, you know, beyond. And a lot of people have said, well, what about the Indian Challenger? That's them looking forward. Let's talk about the Indian Challenger. So we're talking about the Indian Challenger. So what Indian has done is they have basically put out a, an objectively better, depending on your opinion, an objectively better competitor to the Harley-Davidson Road Glide, for lack of a better explanation. So what the Indian Challenger is, in essence, is it is a fixed fairing touring bagger. And what I mean by bagger is, is it's basically a full-on touring motorcycle that doesn't have a full trunk set up on it. They call that a bagger, for those of you that are not familiar. They've equipped it with a 1768cc or 108 cubic inch V-twin engine. Claims to be putting out somewhere around 122 horsepower, which for a tourer or bagger in the big V-twin segment is actually a lot of horsepower. Somewhere around 128 pounds of claimed torque. Six-speed transmission, as we would expect from an Indian motorcycle at this point. Belt final drive, as we would also expect from an Indian motorcycle at this point. A six-gallon fuel tank, which for a touring motorcycle is a must, I think. A nice big old chunky 800-ish pound weight and a starting price tag of $22,000 retail to go along with it all. It also features a huge list of bells and whistles I'm not even going to get into. This video will be 20 minutes long if I started going into all the features that Indian lists that this thing comes with, but if you're actually looking at one of these, you can look up all the features, and I'm sure an Indian salesperson at an Indian dealer would just love to tell you about every single feature on this thing, but just suffice it to say, it comes with a giant pile of bells and whistles as well, okay? But none of that is really the focus of this video. So, as you can see, what they've done is they have made a road glide style motorcycle. What I mean is a touring bagger setup of a large displacement cruiser with a fixed fairing as opposed to a handlebar mounted fairing. If you were dealing with something like a street glide or a chieftain or any of that kind of stuff, you're going to be dealing with a handlebar mounted fairing. Whereas on a road glide or this Challenger, you're dealing with a fixed fairing, which usually makes your front end feel a little bit lighter, changes the overall feel of the front end handling. And historically, especially in street glides versus road glides, most riders will either love one or the other and not really both. People either really like the fixed fairing, even if they can deal with kind of the different looks because they have a very different look to them. People either like the fixed front fairing and the lighter front end, or they like the handlebar mounted fairing and the more like heavy, solid front end feeling that tends to give. So to each their own on that, that is a personal preference thing. But this is aimed at that fixed fairing road glide customer, right? because that has been a good selling motorcycle for Harley-Davidson for a while. Kind of makes sense that Indian would do that. So this is not really a forward-looking, looking at the future, being innovative motorcycle, which a lot of people that have asked me to comment on it have kind of made the point of, oh, look, Indian made the Challenger. They are making new stuff and looking towards the future. It is a new model for them, but it's not a new category. It's not a new segment. The Challenger looks like it will be a very good, very competitive, very powerful, good-looking, nice handling, comfortable, awesome motorcycle in the fixed fairing bagger category. But it is not a new idea. Harley's been making the road glide for years. Other competitors would include like the Yamaha Stratoliner Deluxe, the Kawasaki Vaquero. Even though the Vaquero is a handlebar mounted fairing, it still looks very similar. It's a very similar kind of a motorcycle. The Yamaha Eluder is an amazing category motorcycle in this kind of thing. Also a handlebar mounted, but you get the idea. So the big fixed fairing ones are going to be this and the road glide, but the fact that Harley's been making the road glide for years and years and years means this is not a new and innovative category. This is just Indian trying to take their own spin and put their own flair on a fixed fairing bagger, which is good and objectively on paper and everything, keep in mind I haven't ridden one, on paper it does look objectively better than a road glide as a competitor, 
but it is still an Indian take on a road glide, not some crazy new awesome thing that they're entering into a new category for. When I say Indian needs to enter a new category, I'm talking about they need to make some nice like sub 800 cc or at least sub $8,000 entry level kind of bikes. They need to continue on the FTR series. They need to look at making a lot of different stuff like that, you know. Making another bagger like this, it's awesome and it is going to fill a spot in the motorcycle world, but it's not the big explosive thing that they really need to just take over everything in the US, you know what I'm saying? And they're also fighting a very entrenched, very passionate community of road glide lovers already that already love Harley and love the road glide. So they have to prove how much better the Challenger is than a road glide to even win over any of that competition. That being said, it does look cool. I'm sure it rides awesome. I have not ridden an Indian motorcycle yet that I didn't like the handling of and like the overall ride of. So when I get a chance to ride one, I will ride one. I will do a full honest review on it and give you my actual opinions after riding one. Have not ridden it yet. Have to put that out there again because I don't want a bunch of comments like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I haven't ridden it. This is all on paper, so keep that in mind. Again, Big competition for this model if you're looking for something, if you're looking at this but you want like a used bike that's not going to be as much money, a Harley Road Glide's a direct competitor, something like the Vaquero, even though it's handlebar mounted, the front end of those feels very light, so a Vaquero would be a good competitor for it. A Yamaha Stratoliner Deluxe, again handlebar mounted fairing but very light handlebar mounted fairing, so good competitor for it. And if you can get your hands on one, the Yamaha Star Eluder. I think it was only a one or two year bike, but it is really, really incredible 1900 V twin bagger that wasn't super well received when it arrived because of price tags and everything. But if you can find one, it's probably at a huge discount. So that would be a really, really good one to look at as well. Those have just been some basics and my opinions on the Challenger because you guys wanted me to talk about it. Again, when I can get my hands on one, I will do a full review. So that will be coming sometime in the future. I'm not really sure when. As always, guys, have a great day. I'm Alex. Ride safe. Peace.